So hello everybody, my name is Jim and and welcome to Star Wars Battlefront 2. Oh, what a classic. Welcome to Space Combat Training, Cadet. If you hope to return in one piece, you'd better know the basics of Starfighter control. Your cruiser is under attack. Jump into any Starfighter and launch from the hangar. Use the throttle to accelerate through space, or to slow down as you approach a hangar. Time is of the essence, so all ships are equipped with a boost for a burst of speed. Don't let the enemy get away. Activate target tracking to follow their movements. They can run, but they can't hide. The distance indicator will tell you how far away the enemy is and whether they're above or below you. Clever pilots always lock on to the enemy. Missiles will seek a locked target. This is the best way to dispatch your foe. Use bombers wisely to disable enemy shields and other hard targets along the exterior. Land in the enemy hangar to attack where they're most vulnerable. Take them by surprise by bringing a squad of reinforcements in your transport. Your snub fighters are no match for the might of a fully armed capital ship. Crafty pilots will even the odds with a bit of sabotage. Strike the key systems from within. A time bomb or rocket will make short work of those targets. Now you know what it takes to survive in space. For further instruction in the cockpit and a taste of real combat, play Rise of the Empire. Good luck, cadet. And may the force be with you. My first day as a member of the 501st. It was hot, it was sandy, chaotic. Nothing at all like the simulations on Camino. Of course, that's pretty much the way it was for all of us, wasn't it? All that breeding, all those years of training. It doesn't really prepare you for all the screaming or the blood, does it? Frankly, I'm still amazed we ever made it through the first hour. Never mind the first day. Okay. Your simulation days are over, Trooper. This is a real battle. And if you mess up, you'll really end up in a world of pain. Now get out there! Some activity has been reported in the vicinity of Checkpoint Alpha. Get there and secure the area. It's, it's over here. Okay. Droid scouts have been detected in the area. Take them out before they can report our position. Now the main problem is, is that this game was um, it was on PC and the original Xbox. So, I believe the so R is still will be the trigger, but the other button, I think, is the bumper. So, yeah. There we go. I might have changed the controls though, so. Nice work, clone. Let's hope those scouts didn't get word back to their army now. Finish off that damaged Hellfire droid. Yeah, I've changed the controls. Detonators. Because the original controls, because it was designed for Xbox, doesn't make much sense to me when playing on the One. So I changed it to be more like um, Call of Duty, basically. So it should be this button. There we go. Did I, I missed? There we go. Oh, it takes, it takes a couple. There we go. Good job, but the droid army is headed this way. Capture the down techno union ship to secure a stronger foothold for our troops. Uh, it's in here. Yeah. So I did actually play this as a kid many years ago on on the PC. And our troops need health and ammo. Go to the down techno union ship and switch to the engineer class at the command post there. Oh, this will be fun. I don't know how to change. Oh, to continue. Yeah, it's okay. I swapped that around. Okay. Good. Now use your fusion cutter to repair the health and ammo droid. This will be fun. I have to figure out which buttons I've changed it to. Uh. Whoops, that's the wrong thing. So...
There we go. There we go. Where's the other one? Over here. Nice work, trooper. The CIS have sent in a column of spider walkers. Get to the ATT E clone and make it fast. Go, go, go. So should we be? There we go. Now take one of those walkers down before they do some serious damage. There's one. A Geonosian got killed and dropped a holocron on top of the Techno Union ship. Use a command post to switch to the Jet Trooper class. There we go. CIS are holed up in the cliff bunker. Get up there and take over that post. So yeah, now, now strong I'm vantage point on the battlefield. Snipers to pick off some droids and help thin out the CIS forces. Grab right. a sniper rifle and take out some droids. It's weird when when you're in this menu, I have to swipe left to go right. Okay, let's do some sniping. Oh, I've fallen down a bit. What the? Yeah, I've fallen down a bit. Now take your rocket launcher and give one of those spiders a taste of some heavy fire. Oh, yeah. Bam. Did absolutely nothing. There we go. Master Windu has arrived on the battlefield. Master Windu. A lightsaber will come in handy against these droids. Let's knock down the CIS reinforcements a bit. I don't know why I'm back in here. There we go. So spawn up here. Oh, yes. There we go. Where do you think you're? Oh, I won't get that in time. Come here. There we go. There's one here. Okay. 
Oh, three. Yes. Come on. Back here. Good okay. job. May the force be with you. That's it. <laughs> Incredibly, the 501st survived the crucible of Geonosis, emerging battle-hardened and ready for whatever the war would throw at us. Well, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching an episode of Star Wars Battlefront 2. If you liked it, hit the like button, hit the J to subscribe to my channel. And as always, I'll see you all next time. <laughs>